Welcome back again to the Youth Academy Road to Glory here on FIFA 21. Thank you for your continued support again yesterday. If we could hit over a thousand likes again, that would be absolutely banging. It obviously helps push the content to new people and helps the channel and series continue to grow. And the more well a series does, the better the channel does, the more likely I'm going to be able to do this further into the future. Obviously, it's all about extending my content creation career and your support goes a long way in doing so so thank you for that thank you as well to scott who upped his uh, patreon pledge from one tier to the one above it as well which is fantastic thank you very much for that we start with fa cup football actually today against warsaw then we'll sim bolton and cheltenham play morecambe which is probably our most local derby in the northwest morecambe versus barrow and then we'll make a decision as to whether to play or sim one of Colchester or Southend or which way round those two get played or simmed but we're going to dive straight into the action here with Warsaw we're going to be getting a debut for McMullen who's our latest signing and he's hopefully going to play very well indeed we also have Gormley getting his debut on the right hand side only 54 rated but he's an improvement on the previous 50 rated Metcalf so the squad is continuing to grow well continuing to grow very well in fact although our results were indifferent yesterday Good 2-0 win, good 3-2 win, ah, uh, hammered 4-1 and 6-1. So, it could go any which way in any of the games today, but hopefully, more often than not, it goes for us than against us. Let's start by going on a bit of a cut run, if we can. Hello. Forward to Gormley. Making his debut, of course, as we mentioned. It's not quite as much of an improvement, or even anywhere near, actually, an improvement on his predecessor, as McMullen, who jumps almost 20 ratings from his replacement, or the, the person he's replacing, should I say. Hello, I'll actually go forward through the middle there. And Salem can't quite find McMullen, but now we will. And he picks it up, and he's on the charge. And if, there we go, Bull actually makes the run around the outside. I could stand this towards the back post. Oh, Chisholm! That's got to be 1-0. There are no excuses there. That has to be 1-0. I've asked him to take a shot. He's tried to control it and balls it up. Great run by Bull. Great delivery by Bull. Not good enough in the middle. Or say. Or say. Or say. Sorry, my bad. Here's Holden down the right-hand side for Walsall. He's got away from press. It's a good delivery. It's a brilliant finish by Lavery at the near post. And Walsall have the lead. Yeah. Uh, home kit almost looks like a Wales kit because of the red, white and green but that was a very good look at the, he just gets the run on the man in the middle so look at the run by Lavery in the middle great movement by the striker and unfortunately Wolves will take a 1-0 lead in this FA Cup tie oh great whip oh and Pumphrey just gets rid of it could have taken a boot to the face for his troubles there but committed defending which is good to see. McDonald delivers again and Bull should win this and has done really nicely. Oh, and Salem did get a toe to that, but unfortunately falls free to the awaiting Walsall man. We don't get the chance to counter on them at the end of this first half. First half that we've had the chances to maybe, or well, the openings to maybe get something from this game. And if we can recreate them in the second 45, then there's still the opportunity for cup progression. Praising Lavery in commentary, and he has been the, oh, the man to score the first goal. And make sure I phrased it first goal because I thought they might have been about to add a second there, but they haven't yet. Corner for Bates to deliver into the middle. It's decent, but should be comfortably enough. Cleared away by Chisholm and is. McDonald keeps it alive. Clark knocks it down to Norman, who's backed in really nicely. Has the space, still gets a shot away, but it's wide from Walsall. They look the more likely to score the second goal in this game, but don't rule us out just yet whilst it remains still a single goal, the difference. There is the chance. Well, there will be chances. We have the ability to create something in this game. And undoubtedly we'll create something. But so far all of our somethings haven't been good enough. Mullen. Inside to Allo. Look at that run by Salem. It's a lovely ball by Allo. We're in potentially for an equaliser here. Salem, it's a narrow angle. It's a good save by Roberts. Not quite got the finishing quality to drag that across goal and find the far corner. It's a decent delivery by Bull though and McMullen with the header from the corner. 
But it's well over the top of the bar. Opportunities are starting to come. But I am going to have to take them slightly better than I have done there. If we're to find an equaliser here. Norman with a ping. But Allo will win that header. And Salem brings it down. Darts one way then the other. We'll find Metcalf. Stand it up into the middle. Oh. Bad effort on goal that Clark. Headed towards the target. But over thankfully from his point of view. Ball will bring this down. We'll look for support on the edge of the box. It is McNeil who's come off the bench here. Out wide to press. Back there to Dennis. Into McNeil. Around the corner to Ball. And there's our equaliser. And in quite some style. Brilliant finish by Lucas Ball. And he's flown that into the top corner. McNeil off the bench. To give us an equalising goal via an assist. Nice pass into him. Right into the stride. First time hit. Bang. Top bins. Let's. Go. We are level with Lucas Ball. Annoyingly, it does look like we're now going to get a replay in an extra game, which will probably end up being simmed. Although the, the league situation isn't really going anywhere this year, so maybe we try and get through in the cup. It's just going to be so many games to play this season. Ah, oh, never mind. It's going to be a 1 1 draw here, but I'm happy enough with that, to be honest. They've had some good chances. We've had a couple of decent opportunities as well. We've certainly good value for our point. Or our draw at least. It's not going to be a point. Won't even be a draw yet. He's offside. It's going to be a draw. So a replay to come in the FA Cup first round. But a replay that we hopefully stand a chance of still going through in. Never mind. We'll sim the next two as we said that we would. And it depends where the next replay is drawn as to what happens after that. Real Madrid have bid for Pumphrey. There is not a chance in hell Real Madrid would ever bid for a player from Barrow. Ever, ever, ever in the history of life, ever. However, it does give us an indication of what his in-game potential looks like. If, in the in-game at least, someone like Real Madrid is sniffing around Pumphrey. The board are thrilled with us so far, as you can see. They could not be happy with how things are going in every competition thus far this season. So if they're happy, I'm happy. Because in the stream version of this save, where we obviously didn't get that far into it, we certainly were close to the sack by the time we uh, we stopped playing. Bull and Allo on the score sheet there. And actually, speaking of Allo, I need to adjust his... Uh, I need to adjust his development plan now. We were obviously developing him to improve his position from CDM to centre mid, which is now done. But as you'll be able to see here in a moment, he certainly needs to now improve his weak foot because a one-star weak foot is not good enough. But playmaker is probably how I would like to train him anyway. So that's good news. Right, let's crack forward again. We've got a couple of other real-life players that we could still move on. Uh, start to consider your future here, are you, Dion? Well, your future is already considered. You are leaving, pal. Right, Cheltenham next. Then there's that replay against Walsall. Bramwell wants to play in this next game as well. I'll think about it, but it's going to be a no, pal. Sorry, mate. Um, Allo's away on international duty again with Finland, which is frustrating, but obviously something we're going to have to deal with over the course of the first few seasons before we get to championship level. We lose to Cheltenham, although Bull continues his good goal-scoring run. It was... Well, actually, it might be Warsaw next in the league. Was it Warsaw next in the I'm sure it was the cut replay because it's midweek, isn't it? So the cut replay against Warsaw uh, will be next. I will sim that. We'll concentrate on league football for now. Let's see what else we've got going on here. It's just Metcalf saying thanks for showing faith in him. You're welcome. Wrong opposition. Sorry, Daniel. Definitely not going to be playing anytime soon. Anytime soon, Bramall. I will quick sim this. And we're rather considerably, comfortably... Well beaten 3-0 by Walsall, so we certainly won't be going through to the next round of the FA Cup. That's not a problem. Right, Morecambe. This is a game I do want to play, although as you can see from the state of the squad, because of the uh, the nature of the fixture list now, especially with that extra game thrown in with a replay, we are struggling with stamina. But that's going to be the nature of the beast until we're able to, uh, to fill out the squad even more with you know, some quality in depth. We're now getting more quality in the starting 11, but the depth is still very much lacking. Right, Morecambe away for a local-ish derby. And, well, uh, we are going to be tired at best. Ball lofted forward. Well won by Allo. One of the only players who retains their starting lineup in this fixture from the main team. In fact, he may be the only 
Uh, he and Erdley are the only two that have kept their place. You can see the rest of the squad is altered. Oh, actually, the goalkeeper as well stood out, to be fair, who's now 51 rated and continuing to show some growth. So it sucks that it's actually the local derby or local-ish derby that is the game that we've had to rotate for. So we stand less of a chance of actually getting one over on Morecambe than we did prior to the, the start of the game. Our league position has certainly floundered of late and I think we're down near the bottom again after some uh, disappointing results but not necessarily unexpected results as the squad still finds its feet in this first season as they crash that ball through Wildig off the corner of bar and post almost pinging off the corner itself off the top of the bar and over the top of the bar thankfully for me very nearly 1-0 to Morecambe at the beginning of the game that certainly wouldn't have been the way we wanted to start Bramwell wanted to play in the last game he's getting the opportunity now Donahue into Goodwin gets his first start for the club Allo is left footed and apparently that left foot's a rocket one star weak foot we're trying to change but the left is good enough as it is well then, my Finnish superstar. That just arrowed. Bit of space. Let fly. Pick that out, keeps. 1-0 to a weakened Barrow. What a start. What are his long shots? I didn't know they were that good. No long shot trait. 62 long shots with the boost. Bang in. Diagoraga down to O'Sullivan. Diagoraga's there in support again. He's got teammates making moves in front of him. I'm going to draw a centre-back out to try and meet him. But they found a man on the far side. Oh, and the extra pass actually probably cost them the best opportunity for goal because keepers aren't that good at the near post, especially keepers that are 51 rated. Still a decent effort by Wilde, who's had their two best chances now that headed from the initial corner that went off the bar. Now that one drawing a good save out of Stoddart. But we have our 1-0 lead and we look good for it so far, despite having yes to do some defending. But Mendes Gomez with the delivery. That defending's been done well so far. And if they shoot like that for the rest of the game, we'll be fine. Support from McNeil. Goodwin will go again. Tucker into Allo. Play the one, two. They've backed off again. Allo. Oh, he nearly did it again. He nearly did it again. That was travelling and the keeper's done well. Bramall delivers this. We could win this header. That was their defender. I think Lavelle it was that got on the end of the cross. Bramall will try again, and oh, for a second time, we can't get there with the defender. Oh, that's a poor pass, unfortunately, as well. Our chance has gone to extend our lead, but both sides look capable of scoring in this game, and we could be in here. No, if only he hadn't given that as a foul. Win that header, at least get to the second ball. Dennis into Goodwin. Oh, it's a nice sharp turn, but the defender read it. Looks like we'll stay 1-0 in front till half-time, but... That's enough for me. Hang on. Hold that thought. He's forced himself all the way to the corner. Ah, still hold that thought. Oh, very nearly. Very nearly. But wide. Look to try and find good around the corner, which he's done well. And he's away. Oh, if he goes to ground there, then the referee perhaps gives a penalty to us. Oh, we'll dig out to Mendes Gomez. They're probably going to try and isolate the right back because of his lack of stamina remaining. Oh, that's what I would do anyway, because he's the one man that continues to... No! Good save. No, he's given a pen. Oh, I tried to block it. My right back's one man who's... St and a red! What? I just tried to block it. How is that a red card? Well, what? Mm hmm. All right. Sure. Fine. See your fucking self. Right. Uh. Well, time to uh, try and save the penalty and then hold on for a point. Or even a win if we can save the pen, which we don't need to do because Stockton's hit the bar. Good. Scru who is this ref? Sam Perkis. Sam can perkis my ass, mate. That was never a red card. It was a strong challenge, yeah, but I was just trying to block the shot. A yellow at worst. 
with the pen as well. Unbelievable. Well, we're down to 10, but our lead is still there. Allo. Forward to McNeil. I'm just waiting for the obvious pass to present itself. There it is. It's Dennis. Dennis doesn't do much. Oh, and unfortunately he hasn't scored us a second goal. We're 4-3-2 at the minute. I still want those two strikers because I still feel that we can get something from this game at the other end. Platt across the press. Around the outside to Alho. <gasps> there you go. That's why I feel like we can get something else at the other end. Good win on the end of Allo's cross. 2-0 to the away side and the 10 men. That feels good after that red card. Unjust red card. That feels very good indeed. Screw you, Perkis. Will dig over the top. He's onside. Is he Stockton? He's offside, Stockton. He's buried it, but he was offside. Hit the bar with a penalty. Now buries the ball into the back of the net and it won't count. Just one ball back and then one ball forward. But he'd already committed to the run from the previous ball. And they actually had two men offside there, Morecambe. Whew. Well, this is a local derby. Has had pretty much everything, hasn't it? End-to-end -end football. A red card. A missed penalty. Goals disallowed. I don't know what else, really, you could say was missing. <laughs> it's had, other than maybe a, a, a fight, an actual physical fight, this derby has had everything. Other than a Morecambe goal, but I'm not too sad about that either, to be honest. It's the 84th minute. We look good for a 2 to something win, whether it's 2 0 or 2 1. It might well stay 2 0. Oh, Christ, this has been tough. But after. They missed that penalty and we got the red card. I was determined not to lose the game. I didn't really genuinely think that we could win the game by two goals to one. It's a good initial save and then he swept the shot past the post wielding at the second attempt. An open goal miss to add to everything else that's happened in this game. Jeez, we've got to play one more as well. There's more to come yet today. This isn't it. But we're going to get a win in this local derby. I had a look on Google. Apparently, their rivals, Morecambe, or sorry, rivals Barrow, are uh, a Gateshead, who are the most northeast northeasterly side at uh, this or probably slightly lower level. Gateshead near Newcastle, so right northeast, and obviously Barrow right northwest near the Lake District in England, if you know your geography around the country. But. We will take that. We'll have to obviously deal with the, the red card. But Ollie Goodwin gets himself a goal that sealed the victory. They missed their pen. And we will have the win. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. And hopefully we won't ever have Perkis manage us again. I mean, not manage us. Referee us. I'll be managing here for a while, I hope. <laughs> Right, up next for us are Southend, who are 24th and bottom. And then we have Colchester at the end of the month, who, as you can see in the league table, are joint level with us on points. We trail them only on goal difference because we've conceded significantly more than them, even though we've scored a couple more ourselves. So Southend are bottom, and they and Scunthorpe still look like the two that are likely to finish down in that bottom area. But... Even in the position in the league we're in right now, the board is still very happy with how things are going this season. And I'd be happy if we get a win here, we get a point. It's Gormley, though, with his first goal for the club. Well done, son. So that's another, vic not another victory. That's another point for us. And we are moving now. Availability after suspension for Donahue. But, I mean, he's a real-life player that won't get a look in now, really. And that point has actually moved us above Colchester as they just lost their game on match day 20. So we're up into 18th. Donna, who wants to play? <laughs> of course you do. Uh, I'll make the decisions. Thank you, Sunshine. Right, Colchester versus Barrow. Blue and white versus blue and white, but we'll be in our changed away strip, hoping to get another set of three points for the cause. Gazelle's moving up the table if we can between now and Christmas. Inside to Chilvers. Poku's gone again. He's the obvious recipient of that through ball. Trying to slow them up here. Oh, I thought that was going to fly in. Tilvers' shot flies indeed, but flies wide, not in. 
decent effort, struck well enough, and poor, he couldn't have come much closer to giving Colchester a 1 0 lead here. I'm surprised the board are so happy with us as they are. Like, yeah, we're out of the bottom two, but we're still down near that area. I was, I thought the board would like have us in the like early 70s, maybe, but to be like 92 manager rating and well in the green, I am very surprised that they're as happy as they are. I mean, it's to be expected that we're to be where we are this season, but still, some ambition would be nice from the board. Some ambition. I guess for a side that's just come up from the league below, just staying up in their first year in the Football League is certainly a start. And obviously, in real life, they'll look to build on it, and we're going to look to build on it here too. I'm going to drill this into the middle, and I won't find a teammate. Teasing ball, no goal. Callum Harriet played in. Support from Clampin. Oh, he's done nicely. It's a sharp turn. Trying to keep Colchester out, but they've definitely been the better side so far. And they've always got so many men in my box. It's just blue shirts everywhere here. You can't track everybody well enough. Pumphrey does really well to get a foot on that. And then going the other way, they still seem to have a lot of men back. How they have so many men forward and so many men back all at the same time? Confusing me. McMullen out wide to ball. On the overlap here is Press. And look at the man at the back post. If I could just find it with a cross. Oh, as we very nearly did. We will find Gormley. And he'll find Allo. And his left foot's been solid so far. But the touch was just a little bit too loose. I needed to get the shot away quickly. And I couldn't do it. We look half dangerous. That's two balls that have been whipped across that Colchester defensive box. But haven't found someone on the end of them just to tuck them home. Eventually, we will find a, a teammate with one of those balls and we will take ourselves 1-0 in front in this game. Salim is onside here. Fires it straight at the keeper. Ball lofted forward. We could win that header. We haven't. Erdley pushed forward into midfield and now finds himself well out of position and Harriet could cause us issues here down this left-hand side. Pumphrey's going to try and stick with him. Colin Harriet's a very capable winger that could really... Open up our defence for Colchester to take the lead in this game. Stevenson tackled well by Pumphrey. Proving to be a very, very solid acquisition. Pumphrey Chisholm over the top looking for Bull. We get a little bit more out of him in the remainder of this game. It's a nice sharp turn inside. And there's the pass. And Salem gives us a 1-0 lead. And that's a good move. A strong counter-attack. That swept home by Salem. Had to be wary of the line there, actually. Excellent movement by Ball here. This turn, just to get ahead of the defender and then commit another. Salem just had, with a simple side foot finish, provided he could hold the line, which he did well. We have ourselves the advantage now on the Elm Up. Just on, is actually uh, still holding that shoulder. He got injured as the half time whistle went. I'll take him off. Goodwin scored a goal at the end of the last game, so he can earn himself that substitution. Let's see if we can add. A second again in this game, although I'd be quite happy with just a one goal to nil victory. Chilvers uh, uh, pushed too much, pushed too high with the defender there. And I've cost myself. No, that's my own fault for drawing the defender out of position. And it will cost me. And it's going to cost us the victory because I don't think I'm going to have enough left in the tank to win. <sighs> Worried about just the ball to feet. And I'll just, I've just opened up the angle for him to play the through ball. Wasn't quick enough with the controller to play an offside trap. And unfortunately, that's 1-1. One, one, and that will probably be two points dropped at the very least. If not more, if they score a second now. Jeeps, please don't. Oh, well, oh, come on then. Off we go. Salem on the run. It might not be two points dropped. It might yet still be a victory. Salem! It is going to be a victory! <laughs> Let's go! We'll take that. Oh, saving my bacon again. Salim with a goal on the counter-attack in the 92nd minute. We're going to win. Oh, God. That certainly feels a lot better than it did 30 seconds ago. I gifted them their equaliser. And we're still able to force the issue to get the win. Well done, Salim. I've been curious to know... Who's our top goal scorer so far this season? Because Salman's been scoring a lot in the play games, but Bull has been scoring a lot in the Sind games. Oh, a very tight fixture. We barely, barely had any of the ball. Only 32% possession, but... Oh, Jesus. The drama in this save... Not even just this save. The drama in this league 
has been fantastic and really, really pleased to be up in a lofty 16th and challenging for mid-table safety. Quite comfortably away from the... Oh, still only seven points, I guess. The Scunthorpe and South End. They keep closing the gap now. They're starting to win games. They're starting to pick up points more regularly. Right, let's again advance a little bit further forward. Oh, I'm not going to talk to you about your goddamn contract, pal. I forgot. Yeah. I tell you what, Dion Donahue, you're annoying me so much. I'm just going to release you. Tutty buys, my friend. Tutty buys. Shout out. <sighs> there we go. He's gone. You scored monthly report. Any of these guys 16 yet? No, still all... Well, actually, Segura looks like he's actually going to be shite and never be actually any good. He might just be a straight... <laughs> he might just be a straight release at some point in the not-too-distant future. We've got Cambridge twice, I think, in the month of December. We do indeed. Looking forward to that. Very busy month. One, two, three, four, five, seven games in the month of December as things stand. Unfortunately, it would have been more had we gotten through in the FA Cup, which sadly we didn't, of course. Stevenage up next, which is a game that we should be able to be quite competitive in. Uh, it'll take some hard work, Scott. You're probably going to leave in the January window, pal, to be honest. Right, what we got here? 72 to 92. A right winger. I've got a lot of right wingers already, to be honest. Looking for some worldy playmakers. Are we going to get any? At the stage now where... Signing everybody just isn't an option. I need to be a little bit more selective with who we bring up. Someone like Ross Carney, for example, could be pretty decent. And Damian McVeigh. The rest, I'd be happy to just reject, to be completely honest. We're filling the squad out, but because we're going to be getting loads of loads of options with every scout now, I'm going to have to start narrowing down the amount of people that I select you may be 72 to 92 is probably worth an extra little weight. 32 to 40 starting rating is definitely a no. That's only 100 grand. You're not going to be that good either. What, 200 grand, Harrison Lewis? Let's have a look at you at the very least then, shall we? See if there aren't a couple of gems hiding, but not sure. So, Carney, he's not very quick. Uh, I'm not sure about him. I'm not sure... It's a bit of a bit of a meh, to be completely honest. Lewis is a left back who's not as good at, as Segura yet, but his potential is definitely higher. Left back and a right back. I have a funny feeling that for wing backs, I'm going to have to use the free agents. Maybe even buy a wing back. Obviously, they don't. They'd have to be a regen. But when it comes to full backs in uh, in the scouting system, you just don't get them, or well, not. Not anyone that's actually genuinely got good promise or doesn't have to be moved from a different position. Ah, frustrating. Right, the youth system's starting to fill up now. I might, I'm going to release Forbes. I'm not, but there is going to be moments in this save where we're going to just release players, and I'm afraid you guys are going to have to just. I know some of you don't like, don't like the idea of me just releasing players, but it's going to happen. Because otherwise we're just going to be so full that we can't deal with anything. Glynn still looks like he could become a pretty tasty player. But it's going to take a while to get there. Carney could... I mean, look, the potential winners for most of these guys do look decent. It's just going to take ages to get there. Uh, anyone that has a potential window that completely drops off, I'll just release. Anyone that still looks decent but isn't necessarily up to the standard of our first team, I will sign and then loan out. We may end up loaning a number of players throughout the course of this uh, of this win of this save let alone this upcoming window uh, but the starting lineup still looks pretty tasty Salem up to 70 sorry 56 now not 70 and goal scoring wise ball is our top goal scorer with 12 six only in league two Salem has nine in league two whereas bull has been getting goals in other competitions as well three assists but they're kind of my only two goal scorers really Assist-wise, Arlo's been getting most of them. Salem's been chipping in as well. So he and Bull are definitely our best creative forces. And Jolie did really well. Obviously, he's just a real-life player that we're not going to use anymore. So it's a shame for him. But in a very, very busy month of December, 
Let's be honest. No, nah, it's gonna it's six league games really because you know my feelings on that on that cup competition. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do in the next episode. But we actually have a game in hand. Oh, I've clicked the wrong tab. We actually have a game in hand here. Now, if we win that, I'm not sure whether our goal difference is actually good enough to do much. If we win that, got to 29 points, we could at least go into 15th and be level with points on Cambridge in 14th and Harrogate in 13th, and then only three further points away from Exeter in 8th. It would be the wildest of rides if this side somehow challenges for a playoff spot at the end of the season, but don't write it off. Don't write it off. That will do for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As ever, please do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this series coming to you absolutely every single day. I'm not live on Twitch tonight, but I am live on Twitch tomorrow. So if you want to keep up with the Football Manager save, then check the link in the description to the Twitch channel and, of course, to the second channel where you'll find all of the stream highlights if you want to Keep yourself up to date if you haven't been able to watch any of the streams. But for now, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching, boys. I will see you next time.